All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is not a whiskey video. So you have a Nissan Xterra first generation, and you have a C113 uh, ABS code. So before you start this video, make sure you diagnose everything. You be sure that you have no broken cables, and you're sure, absolutely sure, that you have a bad G sensor. Now this sensor is located underneath the center console uh, towards the back seat as you can see in the video. Alright so this video is about a how to fix the sensor. If you want to buy the sensor I will leave a link to some eBay listings where you could buy it or you could buy the junkyard just keep in mind that if you do buy it at the junkyard, it might work for a week, a month, a year, but you will probably end up with the same error code. And in this video, I will show you why. And I got the idea to do this video from another YouTube video, which I will link up on the right top corner. Thanks to uh, that person who gave me the idea to make this video and who actually found out what was really causing this problem and diagnosed it all right so this is the sensor and on this side it's filled with silicone you just pry on those two little bars to remove that metal frame and uh you just slowly start poking at that uh silicone with an exacto knife and it will take a long time. You must be very careful. Uh, you might not have to do it on that side, but you will definitely have to do it on the other side. The, on the other side is where the chip is. And I will also show you the mistakes I made so you do, do not get to make them. I will show you the cut line where exactly you will have to cut. The first cut I made uh, was not the a good area to cut because it ended up being too high up and it did not give me a good access to where the chip is i will show you exactly right on that little tab where my nail is pointing that's where exactly you want to cut all right so as you can see you're going to find more silicon that you're going to have to poke out being very careful especially on this side and once you start removing the silicone you're gonna start seeing the reason why you have to cut where I just pointed out that uh, picture be right before you can see the borders are too thick and the chip is too far down and you're really not gonna be able to do anything uh, right here so this is where I decided that I have to cut further down. Yeah, cut right there. Now, you can see we have a better look here. We have still have to do a lot more cleaning very slowly. Here is the chip. Spend a lot of time cleaning. And check this out. Boom. You can see it's only there being held with only two tabs not good not good so I removed it you're gonna need a solder gun fine tip look at all that silicone underneath the chip you're gonna have to clean all of this out before you try to solder it back on the board this is my mistake right here this is why you gotta be very careful I cut into the board luckily it did not cause any damage but this is why you have to be very careful. You can use a drill saw and maybe you can have a little bit more control. So that's the chip, all nice and clean. And uh, here it is. Now, let's say you forgot to mark the chip. Here is a picture showing you the orientation when you go back to put it back together. All right, so at this moment, it's where you're going to want to take it over to your truck, try it out, and see if the uh, ABS light went off. 
once you do that and you're sure that it's working, I use Gorilla Gel glue with some accelerator to try to uh, put this thing back together. It is not pretty, but it's not nobody's gonna see it. The important thing is that it works. Here is the metal frame, and if you did a good job, it will slide back into place. Now, I did not want to leave that open in the, on the underneath, so I used some electrical tape to cover it up for the dust bunnies. I didn't get in there, and the sensor is back in its original location back with the 10 millimeter screws here is a startup ABS light went off and there it is thank you for watching hope this helps I'll see you on the next one